today I am going to redesign some of your logos. So I called out on Instagram for some of your logos. I just asked for a screenshot of your logo and a little bit of a description and I've chosen three logos which I am going to attempt to redesign. Of course, as always in these videos, I am not an expert, I'm self-taught, I'm just doing what I think looks nice. You might not think it looks nice, but that's that's how the world works. So I'm just gonna create these logos in my own little style. We'll see how it turns out. I've made a little bit of a plan, but mainly we're just gonna wing it and see what happens, which is what I usually do. Um, so yeah, let's go. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go over there and follow me. I post over there a lot. I post my day-to-day -day life on my stories. And I also will ask over there when I need some new logos to redesign them. So if you want your logo redesigning, head over to Instagram and follow me over there. Right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So I've got three logos today. I have one for someone called Ethan. He is a photographer. He does kind of like general photography, lifestyle, sort of started out in the industry as far as I could tell from his profile and he has sent me this logo it's just his initials then I also have a really cute and totally contrasting logo it's a calligraphy logo for a girl called Holly and she creates sort of like handmade crafts like letterheads wedding invitations anything sort of crafty and creative she does it she sounds amazing her work's incredible i'll link all these people down in the description and then finally i have Haley's logo and Haley is also a photographer but she is now specializing more in sort of lgbt and drag artist photography which i thought was such a cool topic it's very very niche and different something i've not done before but i thought we could incorporate um, LGBT colours and make it a little bit fun and vibrant so it sort of reflects her new kind of pathway. So let's get started. So on screen right now I have Adobe Illustrator open and on the left I have put Ethan's logo in. I can see what he's going for but I feel like there is room for improvement so we're gonna we're gonna tweak it a little bit and see how it turns out. I also have my Wacom tablet with me with the pen which I will link in the description alongside everything else that I use. So I've sketched some ideas out and I thought it'd be cool to sort of create it in a circle. So what I'm gonna do is bring up the ellipse tool and I'm just going to create a circle in the middle. I want it just to be outlined, so stroke for now. I'm just going to make the stroke a little bit bigger. And I'm thinking I'm going to like half the circle. So I'm just going to use the pen tool to draw a line in the middle. I have my guides on just because I feel like it makes things a lot easier. So I want that to like represent the E. So like, can you kind of see it? maybe we'll see and then I want to do an M so it's I kind of either joins together or maybe not we'll see uh, I kind of drew both so again pen tool I'm gonna do an M so just kind of straight up the middle again using the guides and then sort of play around with the angle and line everything up in fact I'm gonna just copy it over and reflect it just so we know I'm getting the right angle of this line here. Um, let's join them together. Oh, it has a fill. I don't want it to have a fill. And then we can go in here and add an anchor point and then get rid of these ones. I'm going to join these strokes together. So path, join. So now that is all one path. Okay, so straight up, it's a bit naff. <laughs> so maybe it could be worthwhile, I think thickening the lines probably. So we'll up the weight of the strokes that we've got. And I do want it to be really simple. Like I want it to just speak for itself. I don't want it to be too fancy. To be honest, I really like this so far. As soon as I drew, drew this earlier, I really enjoyed how it looked maybe i could extend this up a little bit 
If you're enjoying this video, by the way, please do hit the subscribe button and join my little family. I'd love to have you over here and it means you'll be able to see my new videos. As soon as they come out, they'll be directly in your subscription box. I do my studio vlogs on a Wednesday and then my design related videos on a Sunday. So it'd be great to have you as part of the family if you're enjoying these videos because you'll be the first to know when the next ones come out. So don't forget to hit subscribe. Cool. I'm enjoying that the lines also have the sharp points on them because in here in the stroke you can round the edges but I feel like rounding them makes it look a little bit sort of less professional. I like how sharp the corners are. Maybe we could look at shortening this so they're two separate shapes. I don't know, let's, let's duplicate it over so we can play around with it without ruining it maybe to the same sort of thickness as the stroke and then I could also disconnect like here and here so for now I'm just going to do it as a rectangle tool because I don't want to commit to having to do the whole thing I don't think I like that I feel like it makes it more obvious that it's sort of this is a bit weird like this side it's just a bit strange no i don't think i like that maybe i do just like the original design that i did i'm i think i'm just shocked that i liked the first one because that is a rarity i really like that i feel like yes it's not as obvious that it's the two letters but it's sleek and it's one of those logos that when you know you know think of like the toblerone logo if you don't know it has a secret bear in that logo and i love that and i didn't know that i feel like this is going to be like that and also the toyota logo it sort of reminds me of that kind of vibe so i guess we can create outline so i'm just going to object path outline stroke so now they're all outlined and then i'm going to flatten them all so they're all one shape so now it's all one solid image and then we have the color so i'm going to stick with that color i feel like ethan has chosen that color for a reason and then if we want to write his name next to it or anything like that we can um but for now i will duplicate the fact that it says designs on the bottom so we're going to use capital letters just make it a little bit bigger we want a font that's a bit chunky i really enjoyed gotham recently actually i feel like gotham is quite a nice font if we make it a bit bolder i'm going to change the tracking of the letters just to condense them a little bit okay cool so you could have it like that let's just reduce the size a little bit or you could just take the logo itself and sort of mess around with the font on this side depending on sort of what application you're using right i'm going to quickly create a mock-up so we can see what it's going to look like on various different things as you can see i sort of adapted it a little bit as i created the mock-up because i cannot stick to anything if you've watched me for a while you'll know this by now i'm very indecisive but i have done like a name one so if ethan wants his name on there or like ethan designs or personally i quite like just the logo mark by itself because i feel like that's like a little nod to his brand and it'll be a good way for it to be recognized in the future but obviously early on if you want to add the name and things on the side of it i thought that'd be quite a good addition so yes that is the first design i hope you like it let's go on to design number two for holly of wild whims have i inhaled an entire share bag of these crisps yes i have Onto the second logo. So we have the Wild Winds logo by Holly. I feel like this is sort of like a handmade crafty style logo. I really think it's super cute as it is. I'd happily keep that logo myself, but I'm gonna I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, which might mean I need my iPad in a second, we'll see. I'm gonna keep this calligraphy written wild part because i'm presuming she hand drew that so i want to keep it however as we've just seen if i image trace it it's losing its quality so right i'm gonna quickly bring this up on my ipad and we will trace it so i have the image now on my ipad i use the ipad pro and procreate i love procreate i've got so many videos of me using procreate 
different tutorials, things like that, I'll leave the playlist link in the clickable i button. But what I'm going to use it for today is super simple. I'm just going to trace over things just so I have the higher quality version of the text. So I'm just going to use, um, I mean, I'll stick to the red colour and I'm going to use the mono line pen because it's all one thickness all the way through and then all I'm going to do is trace it best I can. I am not a calligraphy artist and calligraphy sometimes drives me absolutely insane. We've got a love-hate relationship but we'll just do this quickly <laughs> for the sake of the video. All right so obviously that's not 100% perfect, it's not 100% the same either but we're gonna work with it. Okay, look, so now we have those little hand-drawn ones. Let's hope that Image Trace works properly. Image Trace basically traces things for you. It speaks for itself. You can change the settings for it to pick up different colors and stuff, but obviously for this, it's just black and white. I actually am already swaying towards the thicker one, so I'm very glad I decided to do that. It's actually done a pretty decent job of image tracing it. I would go in and neaten things up if this were obviously like a final client project. I actually do really like the thicker one. I feel like that could work well. So we're going to play with this one first. The idea I had was to sort of overlay wild across whims. Mm, might not work, but it's all about experimentation, isn't it? So what we're going to do is just write whims and we'll put it in quite chunky th font quite chunky font and in capital letters I think. Oh I like this one. This is cool. I like, I like, I like. So I'm gonna just play around with things I think. So I've been playing around a little bit and you've seen that I sort of totally reduced the size of everything. I've actually sort of gone back to the original layout. I really like that. I tried the idea of sort of overlaying wild over the word whims, but it just sort of didn't look right and I thought it was taken away from the fact that there's calligraphy in the logo. So I wanted to switch it up. So I found this sort of font. I feel like the thing that could improve the logo the most is just adding some sort of sleek professional looking font, whatever your definition of professional is, just so, I don't know, just so it kind of translates better maybe. But yeah, I found these two. I'm not 100% sold on either of them. I like the fact that this one is serif. It has the edges on it. I've just outlined the serifs so I can play around with it, but I'm thinking, I like the shape of this W. I feel like that's quite cool. But I don't like that this is all wobbly, like at the top, I want it to be quite flat. So I'm gonna just delete some of the paths, I think, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I think that looks a lot better now i am going to make it a bit smaller i think and spread the letters out a little bit i could have done this with the tracking but rookie area i outlined it before so i'm just going to ungroup it and sort of spread spread it out and we'll use the align tool to separate them all cool i'm gonna recenter that so obviously it's very similar to the one that's already there however i want to get rid of the sort of watercolour background. I see where she was going with it. It makes it sort of cute and fun and it adds colour, but I feel like we could do that differently. So I want to change up the, I guess, background elements with sort of like an illustration style. I'm going to quickly have a look on Google for some existing illustrations just because it will make this video a lot shorter. So I've come onto a website called Vexels, which I use a lot i really like these guys i'll link them in the description and on here are vectorized little doodles or vectored anything really and because i have the paid for 
subscription, which they've very kindly gifted to me, it means that they're licensed and I can use it without having to worry about copyright or anything. I think I do prefer this one that's got the more traditional style font on it. I prefer that one. And then what I do is choose a colour. So obviously this one has like a pale green sort of shade. So if you use like a soft green colour, for example, like that, so that adds the colour in, but it still looks professional. And I feel like something like that would easily translate onto like uniforms or business cards. And then to make it pretty and handmade and fun looking, you can add little elements like these. So this is just like a pattern thing that I found on Vexels and I could grab like the different elements to use for the background it's not letting me use that one let's use a different one so stuff like this you know like whatever holly draws she could draw something like that to sort of show it off in the background of the drawing does that make any sense but what i'm going to go for is this one here i'm not quite sure what these flowers are but i think they look really nice so if we paste this into here and what i'm going to do is sort of overlay them in the background so it's sort of replacing the what's it called watercolour we're going to select it as the green and then just lighten it up maybe like that i feel like maybe a design that's a little bit simpler but do you get what i mean is it just me i really like this color though like this kind of is it sagey green kind of shade okay i found another one we'll see what this one looks like i feel like i'm on the right lines but i can't perfect it Oh, I hate it when I do this. I feel like I do this a lot when I'm doing these sort of logo design videos. Or I've just had a bit of a brainwave. Might be rubbish, might not be. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna go for like a blue sort of shade, like a gray blue. I'm gonna draw a random blob. Like that. Again, I want it to be a lot lighter. They're different colours. All those letters are different colours. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> How did I manage that? I really don't know. Um, let's just darken up this green again. <gasps> this is cute. I like this. So maybe just ditch the whole idea with the weird drawing thing that I can't draw or I can draw. I'm just too lazy to draw. That's cute. I like that. It's like a nod to the original one. You could add the little sort of branch things to it. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna stick at it because you know what I'm like, I'll stare at it for ages and not make a decision. And there we go. So I have the Wild Whims logo. I am relatively happy with how this is finished. I feel like it could do with some like flourishes and little cute doodles and stuff like that but I don't wanna do it disservice by trying to do my own doodles that don't look any good. Um, maybe I'm just doubting myself, I don't know, but let me know what you think of this one and how you'd change it and whether you'd have done anything different. It's the next day. I took a break yesterday, but I've just put the same jumper on so it looked a little bit more normal. Continuity. So we're on to the final logo and it's this logo for Hayley. I've met Hayley a few times and she's such a nice girl and she is a photographer and she said, like I mentioned at the beginning, she's now sort of gone into LGBT photography and drag artists, which I thought was so cool. So I thought it'd be rude to not incorporate the pride flag and the pride colours into a logo. I've never done anything like this before. Um, I've never really designed anything in this topic. So I've done a little bit of like research, I guess. I've got a few different ideas in mind, but we'll see if they work. I found a really cool little illustration graphic thing of a um, pride flag. So here's the little flag. I just thought it was so cute and quite simple. And I thought I could try and adapt this into a camera shape. Stay with me. It might work, it might not, but we'll give it a go. So I'm just gonna draw some rectangles um, and then I'll pick up the colors from that drawing. Okay, is that six? Can I count? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I can't. I'm thinking maybe make them thinner. Okay, cool. I like that. We're going to align them so they're all aligned to each other and evenly distributed. There we go. And then I'm just going to select the colours out of this little artwork. I just found this artwork 
on Pinterest. I love using Pinterest for inspiration. I have so many boards over on there. So if you have a Pinterest account and you fancy following me, go for it. My little doodle that I drew yesterday is the idea of sort of turning this into a camera shape somehow. So we're gonna try a few different methods. I've got some cameras up on my second screen so I can sort of adapt it to fit them. But what I thought, my initial idea is to shorten one of this bit down. So that's the little shutter button and then add a little bit here for like the little, do you know like the, I'm thinking like DSLR style camera. I might end up sort of rounding the edges and then I'm thinking just a big circle. I feel like this is going to look a little bit amateur but maybe with a bit of development we could work it out. So go in the center and like we did yesterday I'm just gonna use the outline to sort of map it out for now rather than committing to the whole design. Okay this needs moving central to the circle. Can you kind of see what I'm going for? Maybe maybe this is a bit big. I feel like the idea is here in my head but I'm not quite sure how to like replicate it. Maybe it would be good if we rounded off the edges. If I click one it goes blue and then it'll only move that one. So I'm thinking round the edge off as far as it goes, like that. I think the the lines are a bit too long maybe and obviously this is now a bit weird. Actually, let's just undo that quick. I feel like I've gone a bit too far on the curve. Then I'm going to shorten these a little bit because I feel like it's a bit long. Lower this and sort of stretch it a tiny bit. Like, is that too much? Maybe we could add an extra line on it. I don't know. Am I going like totally on a tangent here and it's not really working? I can't really tell. I've never, I never really start with colour. I feel like, I mean, I'm making a lot of excuses here, but colour changes a lot of things. <laughs> hmm. So... I'm not sure. I'm just looking at the other cameras I've got next to me and I feel like it's a little bit busy. I can sort of understand where I'm going with it, but there's something sort of not right. Maybe this could be lower. I think that looks a little bit better. Let me just try something else. I've got a bit of a vague idea and I'm thinking doing the flag sort of like only a little bit. Let's just move that down a little bit for now. Obviously I'll do this properly if I decide to go with this design. Like that. Actually, maybe keep the top one. Uh, maybe I'm onto something. And then we could write Hayley Glover, like her name, in this gap here. Okay, maybe I'm getting somewhere. Let's duplicate it again. It's all about experimentation. Okay, so we've got this. I still think these are too long. I feel like they look a bit strange. This is harder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get her name in there. I quite enjoy the font that she's got. So we'll see if I've got a similar one. If not, I will download one. Do you know what? Before that, I've just had a bit of a weird idea. Don't know if this will work. Maybe if we just half the camera completely. Again, this is just temporary for me to see what it looks like. Does that still look like a camera? I've been having a little bit of a play around with it and 
I think I like these two the best. It's my typical indecisive self coming into play here. I've swayed away from the initial idea of this. I like the concept, but I couldn't quite figure out whether it was too much. I think my favorite one is, is definitely this one here. I just feel like it looks the nicest out of the bunch. I feel like this black border here makes the colors look darker for some reason. I'm not sure if that's just me. However, I played around with the fonts and I quite like this little branding thing. But then I also sort of developed this thing. And by itself, this like inside lens thing looks like a logo that I've seen before and I can't put my finger on what logo it is. I tried to like backwards search it on Google, but it wasn't really working. So I'm not sure, I'm a little bit stumped again. Maybe I could add her name to this and see what it looks like. Oh my God, I think I've got there. So this is the final design, I think. I like this one the best out of all of them. As you can see when I zoom out, I've had a massive brain explosion on this page. Like there's a lot of things going on, but I think I finally cracked it. I really like this one. So I incorporated the flag with the camera, which was my initial idea. And then I've used big chunky letters. And I like the fact that I've added this little heart in the middle. I sort of did this up here and I was trying to work out the best way of incorporating it. I feel like it makes it more fun. And then obviously the pride colors makes it really symbolic of pride. So yeah, I've, I, I like this. I'm gonna quickly put it on a mock-up so we can see what it's gonna look like. So there we go, that is it on a mock-up. I'm so happy I got there with this one. Honestly, I was so close to giving up and just calling it a day because it was driving me a little bit insane, but I really like how that's turned out. It's very different to our old one, but I feel like it's nice and it kind of tells me what it is that she does. So yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking with me till the very end. If you haven't already pressed the like button, please do. It really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to check out my other redesign videos whilst you're at it. See you soon. <laughs>